Food Additive, Wikipedia Article Audio Food additives are substances added to food to preserve flavor or enhance its taste, appearance, or other qualities. Some additives have been used for centuries, for example, preserving food by pickling, salting, as with bacon, preserving sweets, or using sulfur dioxide as with wines. With the advent of processed foods in the second half of the 20th century, many more additives have been introduced, of both natural and artificial origin. To regulate these additives, and inform consumers, each additive is assigned a unique number, termed as E-numbers, which is used in Europe for all approved additives. This numbering scheme has now been adopted and extended by the Codex Alimentarius Commission to internationally identify all additives, regardless of whether they are approved for use. Numbering Categories E numbers are all prefixed by E, but countries outside Europe use only the number, whether the additive is approved in Europe or not. For example, Acetic acid is written as E260 on products sold in Europe, but is simply known as additive 260 in some countries. Additive 103, Alkanet, is not approved for use in Europe so does not have an E number, although it is approved for use in Australia and New Zealand. Since 1987, Australia has had an approved system of labeling for additives in packaged foods. Each food additive has to be named or numbered. The numbers are the same as in Europe, but without the prefix E. The United States Food and Drug Administration lists these items as generally recognized as safe, they are listed under both their Chemical Abstracts Service Number and FDA Regulation under the United States Code of Federal Regulations. Food additives can be divided into several groups, although there is some overlap because some additives exert more than one effect. For example, salt is both a preservative as well as a flavor. With the increasing use of processed foods since the 19th century, food additives are more widely used. Many countries regulate their use. For example, boric acid was widely used as a food preservative from the 1870s to the 1920s, but was banned after World War I due to its toxicity, as demonstrated in animal and human studies. During World War II, the urgent need for cheap, available food preservatives led to it being used again, but it was finally banned in the 1950s. Such cases led to a general mistrust of food additives, and an application of the precautionary principle led to the conclusion that only additives that are known to be safe should be used in foods. In the United States, this led to the adoption of the Delaney Clause, an amendment to the Federal Food, Drug, and Cosmetic Act of 1938, stating that no carcinogenic substances may be used as food additives. However, after the banning of cyclamates in the United States and Britain in 1969, saccharin, the only remaining legal artificial sweetener at the time, was found to cause cancer in rats. Widespread public outcry in the United States, partly communicated to Congress by postage paid postcards supplied in the packaging of Sweden's soft drinks, led to the retention of saccharin, despite its violation of the Delaney Clause. However, in 2000, saccharin was found to be carcinogenic in rats due only to their unique urine chemistry. Periodically, Concerns have been expressed about a linkage between additives and hyperactivity, however no clear evidence of ADHD was provided. Safety and Regulation In 2007, Food Standards Australia New Zealand published an official shopper's guidance with which the concerns of food additives and their labelling are mediated. 
In the EU it can take 10 years or more to obtain approval for a new food additive. This includes 5 years of safety testing, followed by 2 years for evaluation by the European Food Safety Authority and another 3 years before the additive receives an EU-wide approval for use in every country in the European Union. Apart from testing and analyzing food products during the whole production process to ensure safety and compliance with regulatory standards, trading standards officers protect the public from any illegal use or potentially dangerous misuse of food additives by performing random testing of food products. There has been significant controversy associated with the risks and benefits of food additives. Natural additives may be similarly harmful or be the cause of allergic reactions in certain individuals. For example, saffron was used to flavor root beer until it was shown to be carcinogenic. Due to the application of the Delaney Clause, it may not be added to foods, even though it occurs naturally in sassafras and sweet basil. Hyperactivity a subset of food additives, micronutrients added in food fortification processes preserve nutrient value by providing vitamins and minerals to foods such as flour, cereal, margarine, and milk which normally would not retain such high levels. Preservatives also reduce spoilage from sources such as air, bacteria, fungi, and yeast. ISO has published a series of standards regarding the topic and these standards are covered by ICS 67.220. Many food additives absorb radiation in the ultraviolet or visible regions of the spectrum. This absorbance can be used to determine the concentration of an additive in a sample using external calibration. However, Additives may occur together and the absorbance by one could interfere with the absorbance of another. A prior separation stage is necessary and the additives are first separated by high-performance liquid chromatography and then determined online using a UV and slash or visible light detector. Micronutrients Standardization of its derived products Science Additional sources See list of food additives for a complete list of all the names.